What's going on, everybody? It's Boyd Long Elfish Guy here. Uh, this is gonna be a quick video, basically an opinion video. Um, so I just got this Jack Dempsey, and if you remember my video from a few days ago at my quarantine tank, I said the importance of quarantining your fish. This is a great example why. I actually removed all the fish that were in my quarantine, a little bit short, but I really wanted to do this, just give you a stocking update. Really wanna actually try and breed my Jack Dempsey's. I have a female, which is really high quality female in my 125. And I saw this male inside of a pet store and I said, wow, what a great fish. Let me try and breed him. Perfect specimen, let's go. And it wasn't really impulsive. I really kind of wanted to do this. And stocking wise, uh, I, you know, I probably will have to re-home a, a few fish, which I'm okay with. Um, and I'll have to do it when time comes. But Onto this now. This Jack Dempsey, I do believe, has internal parasites. And here's the reason why. I put, I only feed this tank obviously very little because it's a quarantine tank and basically just want to monitor the fish. That pellet has been in there for probably about 10 minutes now and he's not eating. And there's another pellet on the other side of the tank. Now here's the reason why specifically I think he might have a internal parasite is if you take a look at his stomach, it's a little bit sunken and he his scales also there too there we go now a sunken stomach coming home from a pet store can be one or two things one could be food deprived and it could be very hungry which you know is in my opinion normal from a pet store or two internal parasites which this is this came from a big chain pet store so I wouldn't be surprised if it was internal parasites but I actually just treated with Paragard Seacam product it's a great great product if you remember I actually had uh, and by the way all this stuff flowing around in here is from this driftwood little, little pieces of it were coming off because it's a little bit of an older piece but uh, if you remember, I actually had a uh, body and mouth rot in my quarantine tank once before in Trader Paragard, and it literally stopped it in a matter of, I would say, one day to two days. I stopped losing fish, and, you know, I got the rainbow fish for the Black Friday deal. But uh, just wanted to, you know, basically ask, you know, here are my subscribers, what do you think? Uh, do you think this could potentially be internal parasites? Have you had any uh, experience yourselves in internal parasites? Um, you know, it's definitely a sunken stomach. I've seen some pretty bad sunken stomachs before, which were obviously internal parasites. This looks like it might be in the very early stages, which is why I put my first treatment in today. Um, you, do you typically, I know that some people actually like treating right away when they put fish into quarantine. I typically like to monitor first before I start treating because I don't think you should treat a fish until, you know, unless there's a reason. Now, typically I also like to quarantine fish together. And this guy is by himself. So, you know, he could be carrying, the, you know, a lot of different diseases uh, that he might be immune to. So that's a great reason also as to why to, you know, quarantine maybe two or three fish together so that you can see, because, you know, if one fish is carrying a disease, but he's immune to it, he obviously won't show it. And if you never treat it, then you'll never know if you put him out of quarantine and he can get all the tank sick and basically defeats the purpose of the quarantine tank. But that's going to be it for this one. I'm also going to be posting a video soon about an Anubius plant that I'm putting in my 75 gallon, which I'll probably post tomorrow or some point later in the week. I actually already have the video made. Uh, I just wanted to post this because more a little bit more urgent. Uh, than a Anubias plant, but I will I'll give you a little teaser. The Anubias does look really good uh, in my 75 plant. I put in my 75 tank, and I put it in a really nice spot that fits perfectly. But again, let me know what you think about this Jack Dempsey and that stomach of his. You know, I think it's very odd that a Jack Dempsey a cichlid wouldn't eat that pellet. It's not that it's too big. He ate one of these like two or three days ago. Also, I didn't exactly notice that stomach, but again, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the, this actual Jack Dempsey too, because I think he's gorgeous, and I think he's gonna be a gorgeous male, which a good looking female, a good looking male, it's gonna be a good good bunch of fry if I can get him. But thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Peace.